A few years ago, uh, I was doing some research into Lloyd Alexander, and uh, then I found out about the donation that he made to BYU, where he gave most of his papers and, and his manuscripts to BYU. Uh, so I, I came and saw the exhibit that's in the Harold B. Lee Library, and um, I got very excited about this collection and, and the Lloyd Alexander accessibility here at the university. I found out about the two professors here at BYU that that knew Lloyd Alexander, Dr. Michael Tunnell, and Dr. James Jacobs. Uh, Brother Jacobs and I went out to lunch, and I told him that I had interest in Lloyd Alexander and was thinking about making a film about him, and, and he was very excited about that idea, and he said, hey, I, anything I can do to help you? And, and so under the mentorship of, of these two professors, I've um, had a lot of accessibility to the collection here at BYU. Jim Jacobs and I, um have been longtime friends of Lloyd Alexander. In fact, we both did our doctoral dissertations on topics that concerned Mr. Alexander's life and his work. Lloyd Alexander, in his will, left his papers and his writing memorabilia to BYU, uh, due in part to the connection that we had with him. So because of that background, um, Jared obviously came to us for help, and uh, Dr. Jacobs uh, was the one who mentored him through this process, and then I served as, a, as an advisor. The collection that we have at the Harold B. Lee Library, I mean, we have, the, again, the wonderful conference room that is also set up with his office at one end, uh, and all the display cases in that area. I expect that uh, Jared's video, his film, will be um, a piece that can be viewed in or around that display area so people can, uh, can view it you know, to give them uh, further knowledge and background about Alexander, uh, whether they know him or not.